So Spencer did not get off to a good start, you know, when he first came to work for us. That was real. Yeah, something like that. I don't like her at all, bro. Me neither. After we overheard him and another new parolee, Sean, saying some pretty horrible things about my daughter, I gave them both an ultimatum. Two and a half weeks, you don't get to have these kind of attitudes. I would like you guys to go home, spend the afternoon wondering how you want to come back, if you want to come back. And Sean chose to go one way. Spencer, is there a specific dog that gets this giant ass water? I think that'd be Swamp and Bayou. And Spencer chose to hang in there. Hey, Pilgrim. And actually, he's doing really well. And he's like a really good worker. See, partner, all that noise, man. Spencer is definitely taking an initiative, and he's trying really hard, and I appreciate it. Sit. The light bulb went off in his head, and he didn't want to blow an opportunity to do something he loves. Give me some. Hey! And he absolutely loves the dogs. So all these have to go to the back of the yeah, all, all them got to be refilled. I'll bring them back with you. I'm going to like prove the FV a little boost. It made me uh, look at life a little different, you know, changed me up a little bit. I don't be in the streets no more. And I love it here, because I love the dogs really to be there for them. Sit, sit. Right now, he's just doing kennel work and walking dogs. So based on the good things that I'm now hearing about him, I told my kids that, you know, if a bigger opportunity pops up, to go ahead and, you know, let them take a crack at it. Pilgrim, you give me something before I leave? Sit. Give me some. It'd be cool. I really want Spencer to succeed. You know, this is basically Spencer's second chance at a second chance. Cool. All right. Groovy. So I hope he takes advantage of it and, you know, moves forward. Man, what's up? Can you come with me to go on a rescue? It's not really safe to do rescues by yourself, so I asked Spencer to help me out. It's so hot outside. So it's really, really hot in New Orleans, and then the humidity just makes it that much worse. And I doubt this dog was left with any food and water, so it's really important that we get there right away. When we pulled up, Earl's friend actually let us know that the dog had just busted out of the crate and ran underneath some nearby abandoned houses. The world's tiniest cave. Like, she's trash next to the so That's cool. It's really f***ing cool. The crate was awful. It was tiny. It was mangled. There was dog poop all inside of it. So I'm assuming that the dog has been left in there for a very long time. She got out. She ran that way. And then she went on. Puppy! Did you see it? No. I have no idea. Mama! Puppy! I was a little worried we wasn't going to find the dog, but we was going to stay there until we get her. Oh, I hear her. That's her. Hey! Oh, no, I hear you, man. Hey! 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 When we finally found the dog, she definitely was unsure of us, and rightfully so. I had some treats, and I was just pretty much hoping that she would be interested in those until she started to trust me a little bit more. Hi, sweetheart. You want to come back out? Good girl, mama. I know, it's scary. Do you want a treat? Good girl. She was very scared, but she was really into the treats, so that was really good. Uh, it tells me that she was probably really hungry. Yeah, just let her come to us. Baby talk. Running out of treats. Hi. Good girl. Can I see your leash? Slowly. Spencer was, you know, just listening to what I was saying, and he was staying low to the ground and, and moving very slow, so I think that he did a really good job. Good 
Good girl. Thank you for being so good. Thank you. I absolutely do think that she just really wanted to get out of the heat and into, you know, a cool, safe place. So I was really, really relieved. All right, you ready to go in the air conditioning? We're going to tiny rescue the dog. I never done nothing like that before. So I feel like I helped, I helped her out in her life. And it's a good feeling. All right. Go, team, go. She was actually in really good condition despite being left out in the heat. But the only way to know for sure is to get her back to the warehouse and get her into the AC and get her some food and water and get her checked out. <laughs> so Spencer and Duchess really bonded after this rescue, and I see him hanging out with her all the time, and it's actually really sweet to see. What's down, Spence? This is the little dog Duchess right here? That's my first rescue. She was a little spooked at first. When we first went caught Duchess, she really ain't want to come to us. And she was a little spooked out. Like now, she like, she loved being around us. Like, like when she see me, she changed a lot. I try to spend time with all my rescues. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's because what I've been like, doing too. I, I was like the first one on the scene to actually see it. So I try to spend time with all my rescues. But I heard about her, she pretty too, bro. Mm -hmm. Me and Duchess hold a good bind. Like, every time she come out the door for walks, it's like she, she'll go to peek and see where I'm at. And as she see me, she really uh, like jerk and try to hurry up and come by me, like want me to walk. So how you feel about this like rescue life? Well, you know, it, it made me open my eyes to a lot of stuff though. Like, you know, hey, my life just ain't hard. You don't know who life hard. Say for real. I love this job. It's cause it's, the only light I got in my life. Like, once I leave here, it's just a dark hole. All I can tell you, bro, is hang in there. And then they appreciate it. Man, that's your appreciation right there. Right, yeah, right now. Appreciate that. I really feel like this is where I'm meant to be at. Because if I wasn't, I'd be back in jail right now. Glad you like what you're doing. I tell people this life ain't for everybody. Really not. You're gonna benefit in the long run. Come on. Come on. You wanna run? You wanna run? <laughs> <laughs> you wanna run? Come on, come on, come on.